All right, one second, everybody. Um, I had the wrong um, live link up. I'll be right there. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I've got the right link up, which means I now need to find the right chat. One second. Hey, there it is. There's everybody. Okay, I can actually see. <clears throat> Good to see everybody on Facebook today. Roman, Toby, Jared, Jessica. And wonderful to see everyone on YouTube today. Rachel, Bingo Bill, Slatty Bartfast, Automatic Beats, Survivor from the Old Era, Chinanator, Felix, Kit Cowling, Edoji, Antonio, E.G., The Expression that... Uh, uh, the ex-presidents. Okay. The ex-presidents. Mr. Virus and Chininator with the first super chat of the broadcast says, Ox, how are you? Do you know if Starfield will have a settlement system? If so, are you excited about it? Um, I don't know for sure. Uh, so take anything that I say with a grain of salt, but I do remember hearing something. I don't know if it was in an article that I read, or maybe it was just in another YouTuber's video where he's guessing what's going to happen. But I do remember something about being able to make settlements on different planets and moons and stuff. Um, that said, I could be completely wrong. So, um, But uh, I think that it's, it's the kind of game where if they don't have a settlement system, I would be really disappointed. Like, it's... The entire point of the game is to go and explore... Uh, solar systems and planets and, um, you know, make settlements and found colonies. So I would think, of course, that they would have some sort of settlement system akin to Fallout 4 or a camp system akin to Fallout 76. That's, you'd, you'd think they would definitely do something like that. As far as am I excited about it? Yeah, you know, I always enjoyed settlement building in uh, the Fallout games. Um... I prefer the settlement system from Fallout 4 than the one from Fallout 76. The one from Fallout 76 um, solved a number of the issues with the system in Fallout 4, uh, yet uh, throwing in the atomic shop really just bummed me out, right? You, know, you, you load up the settlement system in Fallout 76 and you see all these cool things that you can buy, or all of these cool things that you can build only to realize that you either have to find the blueprint in the world or if it doesn't exist, which is more than likely, you've got to buy it from the atomic shop. And that really turned me off to the settlement system for Fallout 76. So I hope they don't do anything like that. I really hope they learn um, a lesson from the launch of Fallout 76 and from the disastrous launches of many of the other AAA games recently. And they just don't implement any sort of um, microtransaction. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice if we can play a game without microtransactions? Uh, the likelihood is that there will be some sort of microtransaction thing. And if it's like the Atomic Shop, I guess that'll be all right. Because, you know, at least the Atomic Shop isn't just blatant and in your face all the time. So, hopefully it'll be really low. You know, just sort of a mild microtransaction system. Uh, the Watcher with a sticker tip. Thank you very much, The Watcher. And Mosby on crack says, Hey Ox, love the vids. Been watching since the Fallout 4 years and I remember the drama and <laughs> thought that was all dumb. And how have you been time? Uh, how have you been first time dono? Well, Mosby, thank you very much. Uh, extremely kind to have you here. 
Uh, drama tends to be dumb. That is the nature of most online drama. Uh, which is try I, why I try my best to steer clear of, of it as, as much as humanly possible. But uh, life has taught me that you can do your best to steer clear of drama. And yet sometimes drama will just find you. <laughs> what can you do? But it's good to have you on the program, my friend. Garrett on Facebook with a donation of stars says, Hi, Ox and all in chat. Ox, what was your favorite and worst settlement you built in Fallout 4? Play on good, sir. Um, man, that's a great question. Um, I, w I felt really restricted by the settlement system in Fallout 4, mainly due to the build limit and, um, you know, the lack of tile sets, right? After a while, with 36 some odd settlements in the game, with only two tile sets, a scrap set, and a metal set, you know, when the game launched, we, we, we got more as they started giving DLCs like Wasteland Wanderer, or w Wasteland Workshop gave us a, a concrete tile set, and then we got like a shack barn tile set in Far Harbor, and so on and so forth. But when the game launched, we only had two tile sets, and so after 36 settlements, every settlement began to look like each other. And then there was the, the lack of ability to add decorations. You couldn't actually put things like radios and, and uh, cups and silverware and stuff down without it falling over or being knocked over or picked up by your settlers. So I mean, there were some little things like that that were frustrating. But with mods installed, um, that really allowed the settlement system to take on a life of its own, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. In terms of which ones I liked the most, I really enjoyed my Hangman's Alley. It was uh, a bit too cramped and too tiny for what I wanted to do with it, and the AI for Fallout 4 just couldn't tackle it. It, it just, it was so tight, the, the, the alleyway was so tight, and the NPCs were so dumb, that they would get stuck in doors and pathways and they would pile up. And I, I remember, um, you know, the, the settlers would want to go to bed at night and then come out in the morning. And, uh, you know, they would, the, 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 they, they had such a hard time walking through doorways that all 36 people in the settlement would crowd around a doorway and just sort of stand there like this. Because they just couldn't figure out how to get through the, the one single door. So there were things like that that were annoying. But I really enjoyed my uh, Hangman's Alley. Um, I enjoyed my castle. My castle build was really a lot of fun, and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Uh, as for settlement builds that I wasn't pleased with, uh, I think my Red Rocket truck stop is one of my least favorites. And uh, that's probably because it was one of my first. And I just b built this huge shack on the roof of it. And it was a big box, and it wasn't terribly interesting. It was all right. I had a lot of uh, people living there, and uh, it had a, a good happiness. But it wasn't terribly um, fascinating. Survivor from the old era says, Behold, the angel of combustion guides our destiny on this mad Wednesday. We shall soon be with our angel of combustion and see how far we can uh, explore this Armageddon. Uh, Brandon Belfet says, Don't mind me just trying out this gold derby while waving at all of the other derby peasants. Joking, hope everyone is doing well. Brandon Beltfed, congratulations on your gold derby. Well earned, a long time coming. Mose Beyond Crack says, also, did you finish The Witcher 3? If not, will you? I did finish The Witcher 3 and all of its DLCs. I spent a very long time playing The Witcher and I completed everything. So yeah, <clears throat> that playlist is live and available on my channel if you ever want to check it out. That guy in the kilt detailing says, uh, Hi, Oxen Chat. Things are still down, but I'm keeping my head up and looking forward. Any fans near Philly, Google me. 10% discount for Oxhorn fans. Awesome. I'm assuming that's like a car detailing company that you run near Philly. Well, you definitely get my endorsement. If I'm ever in Philly, I'm going to that guy in the kit detailing for my car. And I hope you are too. Uh, I hope things start feeling, uh, start uh, looking up for you, my friend. And I'm glad you made it to the broadcast. Urarurur says, uh, got my giant French pressed iced coffee ready for some good old Wasteland Wednesday. Cheers, Ox and Ox fam. Thank you, Urarurur. I'm uh, glad you're here today. Glad you got your coffee. I've got my coffee. It's not iced, but uh, it's got two shots and it's filled with 
goodness. Mm. Toby Noble on uh, Facebook says, I'm on a device with no sound, so I don't know if you mentioned it, but have you seen the pictures of the vault set from the Fallout TV show? Looks great. Uh, well, I, Toby, I don't know if, how you're going to know that I'm actually answer, answering your question. I can spell out your name. T-O... How do you do a B? B... Y? I'm, I'm saying Toby. 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 I'm answering your question, Toby. Um... Yes, I have seen the tile set, uh, the, the pictures that were leaked about the Fallout TV show that show the interior of a vault. And it looks really amazing. Like, it, they're not making something new. They, they're using the vault tile set from Fallout 4 and Fallout 76, which is exactly what I want to see. So that was really encouraging. Nuka World on YouTube says, Hey Ox, I need to get 100% happiness on uh, in Sanctuary Hills for my last achievement. What's the easiest way to do that? Well, you've come to the right place. Uh, you should just Google uh, my videos on how to increase your, your settler's happiness. I did an entire video series talking about increasing the happiness of your settlers, and I created a spreadsheet that allows you to calculate the happiness of your settlement. <clears throat> Basically, it's going to be dependent upon how many settlers you have, how much food is produced, and how many sheltered beds you have. Food and water is produced, and how many sheltered beds you have. It's a very simple um, uh, calculation, but the game doesn't do a very good job of explaining to you how it is. You have to have a sheltered bed for every settler. That means that the bed has to be inside a building. It can't be in a sleeping bag lying outside. Uh, outside. There has to be a roof over the bed. You have to have, um, and then I think it's like five food for every settler and two water or something. I forget the numbers now, but I've got it all in my um, Oxhorns settlement happiness calculator and so you can just make a copy of that in Google Docs punch in your own settlements information push the button it'll tell you exactly what you need to do to get 100 happiness now it'll take a while after you make all of your changes you're probably gonna have to wait many in-game weeks for the happiness of your settlement to rise but it will it will oh and you also have to defend your settlement if it gets attacked <coughs> even if you give every single settler a gun and you've got amazing settlement defense, none of that is taken to an, uh, into account if you don't physically show up to your settlement when it gets attacked by a raider party. If you're not there, basically, basically what happens is the game gives you a countdown timer to arrive, like say a day. And if you're not there in a day, it simply rolls the dice. Your settlement defense does play a part in that, but even if you have maxed out defense, you never have a 100% chance of winning the fight at your settlement unless you're there in person. So always show up to your settlements when they get attacked. Make sure all of your beds are sheltered. Make sure you have no food and water. And don't have too many settlers. I found like there's a sweet spot with settlers. 24 I think was the number. Don't have more than 24. Otherwise it just becomes unmanageable and it's really hard to make a settlement that um, stays happy. Anyway. Yeah, I did an entire series on this years ago. Okay, right. Uh, Jessica says, I'm thinking about building up some of uh, smaller settlements in Fallout 4. Is there any tips on those? Well, uh, you, you can take a look at my uh, playlist of all of the settlements that I built just so you can see what I've done. Uh, I used to <clears throat> be really into the mod scene for Fallout 4, and I released a number of my own settlements as... Um, mods that you could actually download into your game. I think I only got through like four or five of them. I never finished all of them. Uh, but uh, you can use my videos as inspiration. My recommendation is to think small and unique. And this is just my personal preference, but it's really easy to make a giant, big, floating box that doesn't 
make any sense, but you know, you, you manage to latch one piece of wood to the top of a rock overlooking a bluff, and that allows you to just build off into infinity, and it doesn't make any sense. I would spend time focusing on the aesthetic of the settlement, and sometimes smaller is better. Sometimes having a settlement with only five people in it is gonna be better, because that allows you to make a better aesthetic of a settlement, you know, a place for every settler. And maybe, maybe, if you want to, have a story for each settler, right? If you have a settlement that's really huge, it might produce a little bit more money, but it's going to be much harder um, to role play by having a story for each settler or giving them their own clothes and all of that. Anyway, that's just my, my recommendation. Man of Warb says, Hello, Ox. Just finished a Mass Effect legendary run in which a spite of curing the genophage and saving the geth, in which in spite of curing the genophage and saving the geth, I had too few war assets and was forced to choose control or a refusal. Yikes. Ouch. That's rough. <clears throat> That's rough. I, I mean, I, I guess I wonder <clears throat> what it was that you missed. All right, folks. Well, it's time. Let's dive into the game. All right, be right back. One second. Okay. <clears throat> All right, thanks for your patience. Now let's see. Last week, we focused heavily on the plot, and we got really far, and we met this wheelchair-bound lady called... Uh, man, I forget. Red something? At least it didn't have anything to do with um, scrotums, so we'll call that a win. Anyway, um, what I want to do... Uh, pink eye, pink eye. Yeah. I mean, that's not much better, but I guess it's a little better. What I want to do is, you see how we made such great progress over here and all of these are nice uh, yellow colors because we, we pretty much cleared them all? I want to start doing that for all of these other areas that we've discovered. And man, have we discovered a lot. Like, we're all the way up here towards Gastown now, but we still have some quests to do for Gut Gash. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure why this, the, the quest is just sending us so far north so soon. I guess, uh, maybe they want us to finish the primary plot so that we can do the rest after the game. Is that the end game content? I'm not sure. But what I want to do is I want to clear the grit canyons. We've only got a few more things to do. <clears throat> We've got a couple of scarecrows, a legend encounter, and uh, a project part. It looks like there's also a convoy that we need to do. And then, um, you know, let's start working on Parch Moon to help Gut Gash and his stronghold. All right? That's what I would like to do today. Uh, uh, Jared says, Facebook is acting weird and ox. Yes, Facebook is acting weird. I'm not sure what's up with Facebook, but for the past several broadcasts, um, it hasn't been updating the, the name of the game correctly. Um, I've been having a hard time connecting to it with my broadcasting software. It's been, it's been weird. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. But at least we're live on Facebook and we can uh, see each other. Okay, let's go to, well, what would be the best fast travel part? I mean, I need to get that. I need to get that. And there's all this scrap. All right, let's fast travel here.
My car feels heavy. Is it because of all of the armor? It's gotta be from all of the armor. If I took it off, acceleration and handling goes up. Wow, acceleration and handling goes way up. It's gotta be the armor here. What's changed? Hold on a second. I took the armor off, but it doesn't appear to be any different. in that crack. It's down there. All right, well, let's dive on in. There it is. Hey. Timmy in the chat says, Timmy! Hey there, little Timmy. Always good to see you. Been a while, but it's good to have you back. Okay, one scrap down. Um, let's go get this scrap. Thunderpoon! That's a lot of people. <laughs> she, he came up to him with like four people in the back. Aurora -er. Aurora -er says, uh, You're gonna want that ram bar at the minimum, Ox. It'll save you from exiting vehicle and vehicle fights due to damage. Also, balls! Well, thank you, Aurora -er. -er. Glad to have balls on the program today. Well, I mean, yeah, it, I'm not really noticing much of a difference. I kind of want to see what it feels like to drive around without all of this weight. <clears throat> and uh, then we'll put it all back on, see if it, it makes things that much worse. South. Deep mark the battle sites. Where can we find sulfur? Oh, uh, the yelly smelly? Chum knows. Yeah, chum chum. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, 
All right, so it's on this bluff above me. And there's a ramp. The ramp is up there. All right, I gotta get around. Man, trying to pick up that weapon. It was so awkward. I couldn't get there. All right, well, this is where the scrap was. It's a tiny little uh, shack right next to this ramp. Hey, project part. Clean up crew. That's one of two. Got a shiv and a sniper round. Julian Z says, Hi Ox, good to see you on this mad you're Wednesday. Leaving, right? Hope you're well. Thank you very much. Julian Z, hope you're well too. I'm doing great. Guard her well, while you take care of business. That got our epic jump down. Raquel says, Hi Ox, been watching your uh, new Fallout uh, 4 storyline videos. They definitely made me go back to this masterpiece and check some things that I missed. How do you feel about coming back to this great game? Have an awesome day. It feels like uh, coming home, really. It's what I started making a lot of content for for this channel, and uh, I'm really glad to be coming back. And I'm learning things. I'm learning new things about the game that I didn't know beforehand. So I'm having a great time with it. Okay, well, uh, let's do a big circle here. How about let's go counterclockwise until we get back down here and get the project part. Actually, which project part is that? Hmm. Oh, it's a water storage part. All right. Yeah, I don't need that so much. Okay, let's uh, go get the scarecrow.
I mean, it's a lot easier to drive, so I don't know if I even want to go back. My thinking is that, you know, maybe before I take down a convoy, I'll put some armor on, but um, for the majority of my strutting around the wasteland here, I've got my shotgun, I've got my thunderpoon, or whatever it's called, and I can, uh, I think I, it's going to be better for me to simply be able to evade a lot of the damage with better handling than take a bunch of hits with better armor, so... Yeah, I'm not sure I'm... <clears throat> it's not that big of a difference, though. It is a difference. I can feel it, and I like it better. But it's not a huge difference. All right, done and done. Um, let's go get that scarecrow. I'm discovering new scrap points. Another foul totem of the infidel hordes! Destroy! Destroy! Zake. Now we found a new scrap item over here. Let's go get that. To be fair, I wasn't supposed to drive on that anyway. There Keep an eye on the car. Certainly, yes. You know I would never leave her side. Hey. Getting all that scrap. Location looted. Let's see if there's a ladder going up where we can find uh, ammo. Alright, now there is that minefield up there, and I need Dinky D for that. Uh, let's uh, tell you what, let's clear the entire zone. Then we'll go get Dinky D, and then we'll clear the minefield. So with these done, I guess the next one is to circle around and get that piece of scrap that we passed. Faster, just fast travel there. Sean Fernando says, try upgrading the suspension. And I thought I did. Yeah, it's fully upgraded. And it helps with handling. Right now, my handling and uh, acceleration are almost maxed out because I took off the armor. Let's try the ramming grill. How much will that take me down? A little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, it's in the middle there. I love the thunder poop. Alright, that's the location. And yet there's a cave over here. Hmm. But then again, this area has a lot of caves. What a unique location. I love how every little zone in this wasteland is just uh, geographically a little bit different. I love the little um, piled up salt from the old um, dried up ocean here. Hey, take the fuel tank. It's naked. It makes car combat so much easier. Oh my God. I can't wait to tackle my next convoy. I'm just gonna fill up on thunder poons <laughs> and just tear them up. Whoa, what's going on over there? What the heck? What's your problem? Dude. Yeah, I think he's already dead. Crazy nut job. I passed another piece of scrap. I must have just, um, oh, and there's a history relic there. All right. Come on! Get 
guys just cost, can't right? give me a break. How many cars have I destroyed in this one intersection? I really need to get that project part for this region so I don't have to run around and collect all of this scrap. Power of bodies, yikes. Hey, what's that? Hey, watch out, the gas toner. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to be hard to read. Let's see. I got no idea if anyone going to read this. Don't care. This is for me. Things around here gone to crap, man. Just lucky I'm small enough to hide out in this trunk. Since Tyler gang said go ahead and chow down on your fellow man, we're all stinking prey. Especially, I suppose, a drunken dwarf like me. Screw it all to hell! I got 15 in the clip and one in the chamber. Last one goes in the dome. I don't know. Screw you all! Well, cannibalism! Lovely. Looks like we got one more piece of scrap to find somewhere around here. Let's go deeper. There it is. Location looted. Ooh, the glare from the sun is just crazy. Right, well, let's go back. Pagan Jester says, nothing wrong with cannibalism. You shouldn't waste good protein. Well, I mean, I have to say that um, it is an efficient form of nourishment, right? You know, when there are few animals that you can eat and all that's left are like maggots and rats and stuff. A human body is filled with protein. I'll give you that. Okay. <clears throat> Down south.
And with that, I'm out of freaking hunter poons. <laughs> or thunder poons. I'll have to do this with a shotgun from here on out, I guess. Or I could just fast travel to um, a settlement to refill. Found it. There we go. Looks like that's it. Forget not the grand Mojo what sits on the hood. An ornament of great power for us. All right, so there's the convoy. Before I tackle the convoy, I really want to load up on my Thunderpoon ammo. Uh, and that would be going to Gut Gash. He's got uh, <clears throat> the only one we completed is the um, dog and buggy and the oil well. So we would have to fast travel back to Jeet. Let's do that. There we go, full ammo. Now, let's, uh, can we fast travel there? We can fast travel there? We can fast travel there. We can fast travel there. Get the convoy.
Finally! And for us, huh? the prize is splendor, the hood ornament. Alright. Cool. Uh, let's install on the back, I guess. Be useful if they told us what it did before we installed it so we knew what we were getting. The Sly One. The Sly Skull. Symbol of a hidden blueprints. A symbol of hidden blueprints and divine mechanical secrets. Personalize the magnum opus. All right. What does it do? Handling boost. Got you. I definitely want a handling boost. That's a weaponry boost. Um... That's an attack boost. Attack boost. Defense boost. Attack boost. Weaponry boost. All right, let's do... Purchase and install? On the back, I guess. Successfully installed, the sly one. Huh, so there are grayed out ones that I can purchase. That's a defense one. Attack, handling, weaponry. Gain a top speed and attack. All right, well, my handling is looking good. We got a couple new collectibles and stuff. Let's see, what's the new vehicle we found? This one, the 12. A legend known to all and waiting to be tamed. 12 beautiful cylinders laying down wondrous speed for all to see. She drinks the guzz, though, and the thin skin makes for poor armor. We found that last week. Got some more history relics. I think we just got one. Were there any others we got last week? Yeah. Never build. Never stop. Never look back. We got that one last week. And... This one last week. This one just now. I think that's it. And then hood ornaments. There we go. The sly one. Yep. That's what we just found. Cool. A handling boost. I like it. Now, I think there were one or two more things left in this region before we can move on. Let's see. Yeah, we need to get that project part. And that, I think, is a big camp. And then there's the minefield. And then that's it for Grit Canyons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I'm trying to see where it uh, attaches to. Oh, there it is. It's on the other side of the gate. I see it, I see it, hold on. There we go, defense is down. Oh, come on, I could totally sneak in there. Okay, we got a lot to see here. Including a scrap car. Great. Now that'll keep your engine running. Right, we've got a crack in the wall there. This is probably a secret entrance in. All right, I wonder. Perimeter defense is buffed. Oh, I see. Had I come around instead of trying to go through the front gate, I would have found this way inside. Okay. Scrotus insignia. One of three. Scrap one of six. Got our work cut out for us. 
Oh, there's a zip line from up there down there. And there's a door down there. Hey. I got some thunder poon from that. Alright, we're halfway through the scrap. Canteen is already full. I'm coming. Was quite a melee. The law is meant to be my servant and not my master, still less my torturer and my murderer. Sister, it's happening everywhere. People are finally waking up. This fascist police state is about to meet a very potent adversary, a people aware. Till that day, stay strong, Marvin. When people truly became aware... It was too late. The end was upon us. Hey! Water storage! All right. I'll take it. Okay, I came from there, and we've got some water here. Looks like I need to destroy those pumps. Let's get a gas canister if we can find one. Come on, gas canister. Hey! 
Gobstone! Destroy all pumps! Alright, I need three more scrap and one more insignia to complete this one. Another scrap. Time for an ad, real quick. Guzzle some coffee. And up we go. Hey, there's an insignia. That's all of them. And that's the scrap. All right. Location done. Hey, Quintaius gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Quintaius. Congratulations to the Mad Wizard, Harley Quinn, the Fat Gamer, Nick Apaz, and Miguel. Well done, Quintaius. Thank you so much. Okay, now we've got this scrap vehicle outside that we need to drive to a stronghold. My setting. This might fall, though. All right, closest one is going to be Gut Gash. Car. It handles like a whale. Oh, miserable. At least it has all four wheels. Scrap delivered. Awesome. I have a ton of scrap. I'm tempted to start spending it, but... Yeah. Uh, 
up from the water every day. All right, wa water storage ready to be built. Done and done. All right, gut gas. Do you have any more quests for me? Probably not. Nice. Used to be outside the walls for certain death. Stronghold improved. These guys are worshipping an anchor. I love it. Okay, uh, I need to go do the uh, minefield, which means I need Dinky D. I could donate more scrap. That's 1,500, though. I don't think I want to do that. I told you, I don't have time for you right now. Let's check on our prisoner. Them big gums say there's a big cheat for a prize again. She's gone. I guess I'm a little confused about the prisoner because we saw her being kidnapped by, um... I think we might actually make it. By the gum guy, whatever is stank gum, who attacked See, he's pink eye. Okay, uh, let's go get Dinky D. Garage. No, how do I get uh, collectibles, vehicle collection? Scrapulence, skull butts, chums buggy. How do I use it? Yeah. Archangel's vehicle collection, Chum's buggy. Yes. Let's do this, dog. And there's Dinky D. Okay, can we fast travel closer to that? No. That's not much closer, so might as well just um, drive there. something He's looking that way What Oh it's another one Oh god All right, that's one of three. <laughs> There's two of three. Pointing that way now. Uh, 
There it is! That's three of three. Okay. Threat lowered. Uh, we found some scrap over here while we were doing that. Let's get it. <laughs> he just ragdolled out of there. Now he's limping. Oh no, is this one of those ones where I gotta use the harpoon to open up a tank? Wait, no, this one's already open. Yay! <laughs> Location complete! Hey! Done and done. Alright, Dinky D. We've got one more minefield to do. Maybe more if you find more. Okay, we were trying to go over there before we got sidetracked. Oh, come on! It's a minefield! It's a minefield, you moron! Come on, drive over one of the mines. Come on, drive over a mine, buddy. Yeah, that's right, get out. Mark. Okay. I don't see it. There it is. All right, one of three. There's the next one. Two of three. Red lowered. <clears throat> nice. Well, I think that's it for the Grit Canyons. Now we go to Parch Moon. 
Here, I want to get this uh, Wasteland mission objective. Maybe we should just go ahead and complete this mission. That's going to bring us all the way over into this territory, which is brand new. That way, we'll get that quest done, and maybe we can unlock more with Gut Gash. All right, let's fast travel back to uh, here. Pick up the magnum opus. Actually, wait a minute. Is that a new quest? Uh, I think the profane caps of the Scrotus hordes should be destroyed. Let's go talk with Gut Gash real, quest, uh, real quick. So could we have prevented what's her name from being sold into slavery? covered in wet, salty water full of life. My people believe this water will come back to us on our day of reckoning. And then we must be ready. We must patch our ship together and make her whole once more. You believe that? They need to cling to it. And personally, I see an acute necessity to armor this wreck up. Prepping for the wave of man scum which will soon come crashing down. The war boy army. Lord Scrotus, back from the dead. Help me get the steel I need. Now, not the brown rotted sheets of wafer you find out here, but real prime steel. With it, I can reward you in armor or scrap. I'm flying plenty extra. Fix up my hole. <clears throat> Ironclad Faith. Gutgash needs some prime steel in order to patch up his stronghold. He believes this steel can be found in the tunnels to the east. Reward. Unlock the Fracas Frame Armor Upgrade. Hey. The eastern tunnels. That's where you'll find the steel. Drive to the eastern tunnels. Okay, Eastern Tunnels. I mean... We've been clearing the east. So this is the saltpeter one. Where would the eastern tunnels be? Are they not marked on air? It is. Drive to the eastern tunnels. Way over there in the dry gust. We cleared that. Well, well, that means it's going to be easier. Okay, let's uh, do it. We can fast travel here. There's that scrap that we didn't get, but it was on a ledge, and we couldn't find it, so...
war party. We're moving closer. Chum bucket will be okay in there. Stay here. I'll go around. Oh, Holy cow, that storm just hit us suddenly. That was crazy. All right, and how do you, uh. There we go. There's my light. Eleven pieces of scrap. Hey, this is gonna take us. In to get that one piece of scrap we couldn't find. Here. But we're gonna get buzzards. Joy to us! You made it! Does it open? Come on! Raise me! Raise me! The storm is done. But uh, hang on. I see scrap from the storm down here. Gonna let a little bit of good scrap go to waste. Oh, yeah. That's a hundred scrap per one. And then that one over there. I'm going. Wait here. Yes, I will protect your saint. But don't be long. Please. Awesome.
<laughs> the way he says that. All right, what's that? That's a trap. Oh, there's the old headlight of thirst. Buzzard. What are those on either side? Exercise the evil. All right, let's see if we can find it. Subway. Bay Bridge Station. Deep underground tunnels to the east. They seem to be made out of the remains of pre-fall underground constructions, such as sewers and subway tunnels. What seems to have been a tunnel for trains exits from the rock face into the Great White. It seems likely that the tunnel once exited onto a bridge. The place is now a graveyard for old train cars. The buzzards rule supreme here. Urorururur says, this house is clear. Thank you, Urorururur. Is this a ramp that can be scaled? Yeah. But I can't jump up there. Three of eleven. Anymore? Jeez. Guy came out of nowhere. He was hiding back here. Sneaking up behind me. Uh, 
Hello. That's it? Okay. I guess this must have been where the buzzards were hiding who came down to kill me. Right. Time for another ad real quick. Jeff Day, with a super chat, says, I'm a little late to the stream, but hello, Ox, and I'm looking forward to some Mad Max. Glad you made it, my friend. We are just now starting some side quests for, um... What's his name? I keep forgetting his name. Push the subway car out of the tunnel. Right. I mean, there's no way I could have driven through all of this. How am I going to push a subway car? Right. I'll use the car to push it out. Okay. Seven of eleven. There's the subway car. All right. I mean, I can't get the car through this way. Uh, let me do one quick scan for scrap real quick. All right. So that means I'm going to have to go around the other way. If there is another way. To get the car through here so I can push it. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I could drive through that? No, but then there's that. Yeah, I can't get through there. Okay. So we gotta go back the other way. Actually, no, Chad is telling me that I need to drive through the tunnel. All right. Guess I'll be driving through the bus, too. There you are. I mean, okay. 
Brian says you can drive the car to there. Yeah, you're right. Looks that way. There's the steel beast. Still on rails. Out. Uh, out into the great white. Up high on the cliffs. And then... Ooh, a plummeting downwards of cubic proportions. Oh, man. Buzzard bombs. How am I going to get past that? I mean, can I... I can. All right. Cool. Yes. Yes. She's moving. Steady pedal, does it? actually appreciate some time alone with uh, her and the old socket wrench. Come on! Chump bucket! <laughs> oh, that is one lonely, lonely man. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, we could get out that way. There's a, ooh, hey. Hello. Well, Came out of the woodwork, man. Where were they hiding? Alright, I want to see if I passed any junk along the way. Any scrap I could loot. Hmm. 
Yep. Ten of eleven. Nothing. Now there's one more piece of scrap that I'm missing. It's probably on the way out. Okay. Location looted. All right. Let's push it over the edge. Show us the explosion. No, we send up a flare and got Gash sends these guys here. All right. Is there anything I can access while here? Because there's still that. Did you think I would have found it by now, but. But no, I went through that entire tunnel and I didn't see a way out. Oh yeah. My fine chromed dame. Yikes. Ironclad Faith, the engine power of the magnum opus, really turned out to be of use retrieving the prime steel needed by Gutcash. New armor upgrade hope, unlocked. Hope, hope, hope we get some of this stuff. That steel would make beautiful wings for the magnum opus. The fracas frame. Oh, the sturdy frame. This cover is tough enough to keep the heathen hordes at bay, but I dare say she is a bit on the heavy side. Reduce impact damage from vehicles, environments, and explosions by 20%. 
but my handling takes a huge hit. One second. Well, I could purchase it. That's 500 scrap. Might as well. Oh, my handling and acceleration are just devastated. Okay. Let's see if we can find this scrap. What's this now? Whoa, what? That's a whale skull. A whale skull throne. There's the other one by the throne. What kind of location is this? This is really interesting. Location looted. Looks like there was another entrance up there. A bigger one. How did I miss this one? Wow. Careful! Enemies on the horizon! All right, uh, location looted. Quest done. Looks like Gutgash might have more for us. A fine job. This steel will soon be ready to face every kind of flood, be it of water or just a wave of foaming mountain wall. Did you really clear out an entire nest of puzzles to get that steel? I actually think we might make it. Dangerous things to think. Let's see what else Gut Gash has for us. has been very useful. I could sure use your help again. Now, you know my people believe that the Big Wet shall once again splash these barren shores. I need them to keep believing. In belief, there's hope. But they need an idol, a relic of the water gods. And I think I found it. What is it? An idol of a critter of the ocean. It will give them the hope that they need. And their hope will see us through. Now you'll find it in the wall north of here. Use your longbows. A sign of the gods. Gutgash has located a maritime religious idol that he believes can fuel the morale of his crew. 
It can be found in the harbor wall to the north. Reward a large amount of scrap added to the inventory. Hopefully I get back what I've already given him in scrap. You will know what you've done. What you killed, who you saved. All your wars and your pieces. Your legend is strong. Glad I've got a strong legend. Find out. It's due north. Due north. Drive to the harbor wall in a region I have not yet fully explored. Welp. I am curious, but we still have to do this one and that one. But I'm really curious about this one, so let's go get it. I guess that adds something to our map. I'm not sure what it was, though. There are those who dwell on the crust of the lands, like you and me. And, and there are those who dwell beneath. They worship darkness and drink the blood of men. So heavy. I just can't deal with this heaviness. Brian Lynch says, do the sulfur and saltpeter quest first so you can have your ammo refilled at gut gash. You think that's the best way? All right. Looks like there's some scrap over here. Alio! Found it! <laughs> well, I'll fix her up in the meantime, Saint. Now to get out of here. <laughs> Oh, God. 
get in there. we go. Might as well take out some of the stuff we find along the way, since we're in the region. Alright, so this is the mark where the saltpeter was. Now we gotta find the sulfur. Hold on, I saw some scrap over here to the left. Right, how are we gonna get in here? Um, we can't drive through that. I suppose we could try going around. Nope. You can smash that roadblock? All right, let's try that. I can't. Can't smash that roadblock. So there's got to be a way Sorry. around. Got the car. Yes, I will not leave her here. Like so. Ooh, 
Run away! <laughs> he looks a bit staggered there. All right, let's see. Why was this marked on the map? Where is the scrap? Are you away on one of your long journeys inside your brain? Are, are, you, are you well enough to drive? Cool. One more. Good it. Right, we got it. Now back to the car. If we can figure out a way to get back to the car. Just jump over, I guess. Okay, now the next one, the sulfur, is way over there. And we haven't discovered that location yet, so we can't fast travel there. Along the way, there are a couple of interesting things, including this legend encounter objective to destroy the buzzard lair. And I think I want to tackle that. Let's do it. That will never Variety stop being interesting. That is fun with a capital F. That's a long drop. Do I really want to get my car in that? I mean, there it is. 
How do I get down there? More to the point, how do I get back up from there? Jeez. Well. I guess we'll figure that out, you know, when we need to. Stay put. Yes, gladly. It is my sacred place. Let's uh, kill some buzzards. One of these days, I would love to actually have the weapon in hand before I get attacked by all these guys. And that's it. Run away! Get out before it blows. Is there anything in here first? My gut rope. <laughs> He's just chatting away up there. You okay? Run away! Okay, hopefully the map will show us a path out of here. Okay, we passed some scrap up here. Let's get it. There we are. Oh, there's some scrap over there. Just so much scrap. Hello, what is that? That looks like uh, a cave fortress. You see that? This scavenging location is locked Unlocked by a Wasteland mission. Oh, this is a mission location, so I can't do it yet. Okay, fine. Well, then they shouldn't mark it on my map if I can't do it just yet. I think it might have fallen.
Hello, hello, what is this? Yeah, it fell down there, look at it. <laughs> it's, it's trying to climb the mountain. <laughs> oh, the AI, come on. You all right there, buddy? <laughs> I'm a little far up. I like how even these uh, minor scrap locations are sometimes really elaborate. Like this one. percent looted really <laughs> he's, he's trying so hard to climb this mountain Let's call for our car. Uh, where were we? Yeah, that's right. Sulfur. Oh God. I gotta get into that camp. His shooting days are over. <laughs> it's gonna make me drive right by it too. Okay, new legend rank, Blessed Wanderer. I always loot the weapon after the battle, but who needs it at this point?
Come on. All right, got the scrap. There's the water still, but I'm full up. Let's roll another ad real quick. Oh man, I really wanted to plow into that, but I don't think I can. I think I gotta use the harpoon. Oh, come on. Come and get me. That's it for my thunder poon. I'm out of ammo now. Encounter. As you wish. I better hurry back. This place is prime pickings for raiders, vultures, scavengers, and murderers. unjust fleck of speck, Dimrim. The way you went at it, you made it look like dragons fighting across the land. Yeah, that's me. Glad you approve. And so what was the point of that? Forget not the grand mojo what sits on the hood. An ornament of great power for us. Oh, no. 
I'm out of thunder poons though. Crap. Dog gun it. Stay away from the grinder. And somehow that dude didn't get killed in all of that. <laughs> I somehow avoided running him over. Thank God. Okay, back on track. Gotta get that sulfur. Oh no! Too much going on! What is this place? Holy cow! Woo! No more long hair lead for him! Oh, there's another one! Any other snipers? Well, might as well take out this scarecrow. Oh God! All right, well, we found a new sort of geological area here. I wonder if this is poisonous. Can I stand on it? Let's find out. Yeah, it looks like I can wade through it and it doesn't hurt me. There's our sulfur.
This will work. Like Wasteland mission complete. Ashes to ashes. Jeet has access to the resources needed to expand his gunpowder operation and to start trading with Gutgash. This project also benefits me greatly. Armory project available, Gutgash's stronghold. And Jeet has a new wasteland mission for me. Oh, man. I'm just picking up all the missions. Looks like there's a... S uh, I don't mean to question your saintly methods, but the, the angel calls for our holy work to go, to go on. Scrap encounter over here. Of the magnum opus into the divine embodiment of grease and metal and fulfill the holy task which the angel combustion has bestowed on us. Calm down, chum bucket. Yes, I can hear her creak and moan. Can you hear it? Chum bucket, just chill out, dude. Nah, I don't like him. Yeller, smeller, stealers all over the place. Peeps from Balefire. Still an owl yelling. It's just not right. Now, I'm my own man. You want to help me out? Split this stuff down the middle? Okay, I got 50 scrap from that. Okay, let's uh, see what Jeet wants. Now that we've got the yelly smelly. This will refill our ammo anyway. What's this I hear about you snatching steel from our car? Oh, is he pissed off now? We got all the powder we need. Enough to trade. You really want to put black in the hands of anyone? Anyone who ain't Scrotus. I need you to open a passage into the dead barons for me to send caravans over. You get me one of the big fuel trucks out there and we'll pack it with explosives. It should make a big hole in that wall. You'll be able to feed your shooter and the dead barons too. Playing with fire, find a fuel truck for Jeet to rig with explosives and then use it to blow open a passage into the Dead Barons. Reward an armory project in Pink Eyes and Deep Freya's stronghold. I haven't met Deep Freya yet. Now, there's a convoy. I'll show you where it usually is. Bring Jeet the fuel truck. Wow. You car sure looks better since the first time I saw Holy, 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 you are the true road warrior! <laughs> Good luck with this one, Ox, says Joshua. Is that this? Bring Jeet the fuel truck. Great. Say, if you're looking to gain the favor of the gods, the crow dazzle's not far! Hey! A sacred carcass! Right there! More scrap for us! Right where? <laughs> Sacred carcass? There. Oh, well done. Well done. <laughs> what treasures lie inside? Sit tight. I wouldn't leave her. No, you know I wouldn't. Just a little bit of scrap. I don't know if it's worth our while.
Well, that was the melee. Looks like I blew up the fuel truck, and uh, yeah, I'll have to do this again. So <laughs> I'll have to come back later. Um, so I guess using the Thunder Poon is a bit too dangerous during that particular mission because I could ignite the fuel truck, it explodes, and I don't get the fuel. Um, right, I guess I'll have to use my harpoon for that one. Uh, most infidels fail to recognize the sacred parts of the great spiritual schemes scattered across the hills and valleys. Uh, I recognize their scrap as a treasure. Right, uh, we'll come back for this one, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so in the meantime, well, hold on. Let's refill our ammunition. Because we used a bunch of thunder poons there. There you are. We've been hustling back money. And we do have the uh, artifact that we need to get, which is pretty cool. And we can get that along the way. Uh, so let's fast travel. Jeez, there's nothing close. I mean, I guess the closest uh, point that we can fast travel to is Gutgash. Armory project ready to build. Oh, okay. Which one is the armory project? Let's go find it. It's not going to be in there. Activity. We've got the steel. Have a look. The less crazy boards outside, the less we suffer in here. There it is. Build a workbench capable of filling Max's ammo belt at no cost. Nice. Ammo belt automatically refilled. Sweet, now we've got two places to go to to refill our ammo. Oh, come on. Okay. Drive to the harbor wall. Looks like this might be a scavenging location. Oh no, that's in there. There's 
a cave up there. Long right, I've got... Idea. Sure, sure. Maybe you'll find something useful for us. I've got two scrap markers in here. Holy cow, what is this? Is this? Oh, this is a much bigger facility. This is Jugular Canyon. Uh, I don't want to do that right now. I want to stay focused. <laughs> Tell you what, let's get this vantage outpost so that we don't make that mistake again. <clears throat> we'll clear these guys out in a more methodical fashion. A little bit later, but I really want to find out what this uh, relic is. What we get? And uh, Put ornament. Let's install it. Surprise! The hood ornament. Let's see. What did we get? New collectibles. Hood ornaments. Death twins. Uh, gain a weaponry boost. Cool. Currently installed. So I've got two weaponry boosts installed. Uh, but I probably want a handling boost. So let's um, let's put the sly one back in front. Oh, we've got a uh, legendary jump challenge. Yeah! <laughs> it was great. Knocked out a scarecrow with that one. All right, uh, let's go get that balloon. We got way off track there. Oh, wait a minute. There's another balloon? Oh, jeez. There's so many balloons. All right. Let's get this one. Oh, come on. Jeez. 
Jeez! They're just not giving me rest here! Trying to get to a location gets sidetracked at every turn. Taking down a convoy and random guys coming at me. Chum Bucket is the best companion ever. Keep an eye out. No surprises. Uh, don't worry, my magnum opus. Don't fret, Hazel. I'll have you up and running in a rave. Hey. Keep your head down. There's a lead slinger slinging lead yonder. Killed him. If you want to keep that fine car of yours hole free, you do well just killing that long shooting roach. Well, thanks for that tip. Loot encounter, a sniper is hiding and shooting at everyone that gets close. Find him and take him out. Reward loot, kill the we sniper. Really try to get our oh, it's a different sniper! It's a different sniper. Got him! Can I get this balloon already? It's anchored. I think this is where that sniper was. Up there. Don't think I can get up there, though. 
Right. Let's get the balloon. Hey, history relic. Uh, creepy. Okay. Great to see you last night, brother. This is the picture I talked about. Ronnie's dressed up like a zombie. Oh, okay. This was perfectly uh, passable three years ago. If someone came comes into a barn like that today, they'd get shot. No questions asked. Too many damn diseases and viruses and crap. People actually believe the zombies are coming. Let's talk soon. Good, that was a full fuel can. Wow, these rocks all point towards uh, that mountain there. I wonder if there's anything there. Pretty cool. Region revealed, Kedavanaugh. Kedavanaugh. The ship. It looks peaceful from afar. They're not seaworthy. Oil pump camp. Death run. Weak scarecrow. Weak Scarecrow, there's Gut Gash's Stronghold. Top Dog Camp. A Four Skull Difficulty one, yikes. Another Sniper. Another Strong Scarecrow. And a Fortified Scarecrow. There, we've done the full circle. There's an Oil Pump Camp. Okay. Lots of stuff. All right, the next thing I want to get is that balloon, and then we can go north to get that harbor wall. Kedavana region. Even from afar, it is clear by the shape of the great mountain that the Cadavanaugh region is volcanic. Black lava rocks surround the still active volcano. All right, let's do one more ad. Well, we descend.
All right. And let's refill the jalopy. Brian Lynch says, don't forget Griffa. Yeah, I won't forget Griffa. I tend to do the Griffa tokens thing at the end of each episode. Oh, come on. Submarine? I'll repair it in no time. Cool that there's a submarine here, but we're not getting an icon that there's any uh, loot inside. Wow, lots of straw and hay and stuff, though. Well, I guess that must be seaweed. Huh. I take a quick pit stop since we're here. Sometimes these knives, these shivs, I can see them, but I can't loot them. So what have we here? Water, but I'm full up on water. So, let's put it out I get the boots. I get the boots, he says. <laughs> That didn't work well. Can I get the weapon? Oh no, it dropped underneath the stairs. I can't get it. I got it. Come on. Trapped underneath the stairs, that's not fair. Wait, wait. 
Here we go. Hold on. Yes! Ah ha That was bullcrap. I totally parried him. But I guess I was facing the wrong way and it didn't count or something. Alright, we came from there. Let's go down. This was supposed to be a water scrap location, but it's really way more elaborate than I thought it would be. Goodness, this is huge. Three of four scrap. Oh, a new car body. Hey, <clears throat> look at that. Nice car body unlocked. Death rattle. Location looted. Um, <laughs> I guess I could uh, summon my car here. Yeah. Or not, I'm still inside. There we go. How'd you come from behind? I found you! The death rattle! Such a fine body. That's right, the death rattle. Let's um see what it looks like. Garage. Car body. Uh, Ripper, Death Rattle. See the sanctified spectacle that is the Death Rattle? Our magnum opus would look good in such a cracking frock. Oh, God. Change the body type. Here we go. Let's see. Whoa. I like it. Wow. Looks cool. Death Rattle.
Okay, we're still on our way. What? Are there people coming? I saw some scrap down this ravine, so I just jumped down, and this guy followed me <laughs> to his death. Oh my god. That's great. Well, now to get the scrap. <laughs> oh, his car scrap is scattered all over the mountainside. I'm not going to be able to get that. Wait here. Of course, of course I will. Uh, if you have to leave me here. History relic. Oh, do you want to build a snowman? Are those hot dogs his eyebrows? I've honestly never thought of that. Hot dogs his eyebrows. I'm going to have to try that this December. Boys, there are two things to remember about this photo. One, this was during the last snowstorm in recorded history. Two, a local gang booby-trapped this innocent-looking snowman, and this young man became a raspberry spray. Don't trust anyone or anything. Dad. What? Booby trapped a snowman. I can't remember the innocence of snow. Oh, man. This guy just taking a selfie with a the snowman, then boom! Raspberry spray. Oh, we got a car part. Yeah. Or not a car part, a project part. Who was this guy? A maggot farm. One of three. This is for gut gas. What was Max talking about? Who was this guy sitting in the chair? Well, he died on his throne. Is that everything? Yeah. That's everything for this location. Another tidy little pit stop. Worth it. Right now we gotta figure out how to get back up that hillside so we can get the uh, balloon. Shot in 
lucky that I can survive more than one sniper hit. Or that his aim was bad. All right. That guy's still stuck to my harpoon. <laughs> We gotta kick that down there. We'll go around to the side. Ooh, bear trap. Oh, bear traps. Location looted. But time for the balloon. Mike Bruner became a gold ox. Thank you, Mike Bruner, and welcome. Region revealed. The Chalkies. Top dog camp, sniper. All right, and that's the full stretch, I think. Okay.
Right, I've got just under 40 minutes left in the broadcast. I think that should be enough time to get this, um, this nautical relic. Something is here, watching. And go to Griffa. So let's do it. Drive to the harbor wall. One of two, Scrap. There's the second. Now, how do we get up there? Stuck behind the grating. What is it? Some kind of billboard. But to get it, I have to go around and find a way into that storm drain. That's in the Dead Baron's seat. We have to go around. Dead Baron's Pass is the nearest entry. Oh, dear. Okay, Dead Baron's Pass. Up through here. Oh my god, really? Well, I might as well just fast travel to Pink Eye here. Or that.
know this track, huh? Follow. We're sure to find a convoy. All right. <coughs> uh, you real? You busted the jaw. They said it couldn't be done. <coughs> uh, I was I was too close to the ruckus. I. Uh, I am all but roach. Whoever you are, please tell her. Tell Pink Eye. Rocket boat fell. Doing me work for her. <coughs> for her soul. Yeah, yeah, come on, get it out. Jeez. <laughs> Poor lady. Rocket bottle fell. A dying woman urges you to bring her information to Pink Eye. Reward 50 scrap. Away from the barbs! Oh, come on! Air lead truck! It carries a great and powerful artifact on its hood. It would serve us well to wield such a mysterious force. I missed the convoy. You want to hurry up? It would be if I had better equipment. Oh, man. I'll get it later. Yeah. I'll fix now. Sure, I'm glad I don't run these convoys. No, <laughs> it's not healthy transporting crude oil or gasoline through these lands. Let's see. Oh. Oh, do it. Leads down to utter darkness. I'll go check it. You bring the car down if you see a flare. Oh, I want not for it, but I will. Storm drains. Find a way into that storm drain. 
An old storm drain system which has now become the territory of a gang of roadkill. One of ten scrap. What the fuck is that? Sentry. An old maintenance tunnel. Hmm. Ah, something's lurking in there. Did he say tutti fruity? I'm getting wasted. Shut it. <laughs> tutti fruity. I'm getting wasted. Three of ten. Oh. More scrap. Four of ten. Man, this place is a labyrinth. I'm gonna have to do a lot of backtracking to find all the scrap, I think. Hey! You're on watch. Yeah, yeah. I'm on it. Suck my crack crack. Did he say suck my cack crack? <laughs> Yeah, we got water down there. Don't need it just yet. Five of ten. Good. Just gotta get this thing out of here. Open the grating. Use the flare gun to mark the location. Okay, but I wanna finish looting this place. And for that, I'm gonna have to backtrack a bit. I've got at least five pieces of scrap left to get. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get back up. There we go.
Okay, I think I came from that direction, which means... Well, can't go that way. Scrap down there. All right. Yeah, this is what I missed. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Location looted. <clears throat> now to find my way back. I think I can. It was this way. There we go. Claw food. Time to send for gut gas guys. Here we go. Wasteland mission complete. A sign of the gods. I don't know how this piece of metal will make a difference to gut gas's followers. At least I got a good amount of scrap for giving it to him. 200 scrap added to the inventory. I mean, it's less than I've donated to him, but it's all right. Okay, we've got 15 minutes left. I think that's enough time to go to Griffa, to head back to Gutgash, and to see if he's unlocked any new quests by finishing this one. So that's what we're gonna do. Get back. What now? Okay, back to Gutgash. to my people. The sign is now up. They find solace in the image of the crustacean. <laughs> Thank you. Undead <laughs> Scrotus <laughs> may come and kill us all, but the icon you brought will give us the favor of the gods. They feel solace in before the image of the crustacean. There it is. Claw food, the image of the crustacean. Wow. Well, he doesn't have any new quests for us, so let's go find Griffa. I'd wager if we destroyed these unholy camps of the 
screwed as hearts. They're, they're traitors like the kings around here. Rocks! It jumped in my way. Did you see that? It was just moving too fast. Buzzards. Ah, come on! Wow! Oh, oh. Look at all the spikes! It'll rip the magnum opus to shreds! Can't a guy do anything in this game without a bunch of friggin' buzzards coming out of nowhere? Oh. Forget not the grand mocho what sits on the hood! Lord of it, great power for us! All right, Griffo, what you got for me today? This was once a very different world. A world where brother did not kill brother for scraps. A world where laws and rules were respected and nurtured. You protected your family, and your children. I don't remember. Your body remembers. It trembles. It wants you to smother the past, for fear of madness. I'm looking hard. There's nothing. Look again, and again. It's right there in front of you. Papa Snarf. <clears throat> right, I've got 12 points to spend. Let's start with longevity. Maximize that. Boom. Let's uh, get judgment. Maximize that. Boom. Then let's try melee weapons longer. Fury mode longer. Damage with a melee weapon. More scrap when looting. Yeah, sure. Maximize that. Hmm. More ammo when looting. Damage with melee, fury mode, uh, intuition. Sweet, that maximizes a number of my abilities, which means that I'm running out of points, uh, places to spend points. 
Iona says, Hi Ox, love your videos. I'm from Finland. Hey there, Iona. Thank you for watching. Alright, and I got another uh, Wasteland level up. Reputation level. Alright, let's see. A, a number of bios we've collected here. We've almost encountered every buzzard enemy. Let's see what's new. The char bone. We char the flesh off your bone. A feared enemy, the char bone, is a rolling flamethrower. Attackers approaching from the rear are in for a warm welcome as the flame pipe nozzle begins to spew its scorching flames. Tip, avoid the, their rear flame attack. For extra protection, the magnum opus can be upgraded with fire retardant red primer paint. Of course, their deadliest attack can be neutralized by destroying their fuel tank. All right, that's it for the buzzards. We have found some new locations. The Chalkies region. Alongside deep, deep canyons stand the remains of many propeller-like wind turbines, like tombstones to one of mankind's last failed experiments to stop their own destruction. That's all the regions I've uncovered so far, but look at all of the new ones I have yet to uncover. That's so much. Now, we can go to Max, and we can upgrade him. All right, the final wrist armor upgrade. Full metal guard. Outstanding armor protection for my wrists and arms. Decreases damage taken from failed parry by 50%. Increases damage inflicted by counters and disarms by 50%. Yes, please. Successfully installed. We've got a new uh, uh, look. Grooming look. Let's see what's this. The medium hair and beard with goggles and bandana. I mean, at least he's got the beard, but that bandana is just awful. There's one more upgrade. The legend upgrade. Reach legend rank road warrior by completing challenges to unlock the upgrade. So I've got one more to get. I need road warrior. I'm at blessed wanderer. Let's get back our um, full beard here. Yeah, I'm liking that. Is that it? Yep, fully upgraded. I believe these are fully upgraded. Tools are fully upgraded. Belt needs one more. I've got to be Road Warrior before I can upgrade my ammo belt. That's fully upgraded. Fully upgraded. Fully upgraded, nice. And we got a few more collectibles. History relics. Let's see. When people truly became aware, it was too late. And the zombie guy. And the snowman. I remember the innocence of... of snow or man. Cool. We're making great progress here. And we have uncovered a few more camps. Gobstone. We dismantled that oil camp. That was really the only one we did in this broadcast. Four hours. How did that go by so, uh, go by so quick? Let's see. We uh, cleared one region. The Grit Canyons. <laughs> That's the only region we completely cleared today. Uh, there's the fuel truck. It's in a new location. We could go get that, though I'm running out of time. I don't think I can do it today. But we got a couple more vantage outposts, which... Yeah, uh, showed us more locations within the Chalkies and the Kevin or Cadavanaugh. That gives us many more locations to clear. So next week, let's see. I think we're going to try and work on the primary quest, work on more of these side quests before moving north to Gastown. Dance with Death, story mission. Is that what we have to do next? Ghosts of the Past. All right, I guess that's where we go next. But there's still so much to uncover and clear. Do I still have a caravan over here? A convoy? How, how did I not c clear the convoy in Colossus? Right, we'll do a manual save. 
Oh, we can't. There is no manual save, and that's it. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for joining me for today's broadcast of Mad Max. Hope you had a great time. I sure did. Uh, we've got uh, a lot coming up this week for Thursday. Scotch and Smoke Rings tomorrow. I'm going to pick a brand new game. We already completed the Mortuary Assistant. Um, at least one of the nights we survived, and so I don't think I want to go through that again. We've done that, so we're going to pick something new for Scotch and Smoke Rings. Friday, we'll continue with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. i got to say I've been enjoying it a lot more than I was uh, than I enjoyed Rise of the Tomb Raider so far, but it's still pretty short. Time will tell how much we enjoy that game. I am hoping it'll be great. Then for the weekend, I think I'll have a new lore video for you. We learned the name of the guy who killed our son in last our last episode, and now we are tracking him down. We might have find him, uh, found him. Let's see what happens when we confront him in my next episode. That's it for this week. Thank you all for, or that for today. Thank you all for coming. I hope to see you for the rest of this week. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. See you soon with more lore videos and new live streams. Bye-bye now.